Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Today we're replacing the GMC emblem on the front of this GMC AT4. Now as you can see, I've started to take off the vinyl wrap we did in a previous video. So if you wanna see that, go back in one of the videos I made where we did some simple but effective mods. And you can see this vinyl just comes off easily. But what are we replacing this with? We are replacing it with this illuminated GMC emblem. This is made by GMC themselves. So this is a factory OEM accessory that you can buy and it hardwires into one of the headlights and when your headlights come on, it's backlit. So I think it looks pretty cool. You've probably seen it out there. Not the first one, never show it, that's for sure. You can get it in black or you can get it in red. I opted for the black. Uh, now, to install it, there's a few ways you could do this. The instructions actually say, just break the emblem apart, which that's what we're gonna do in today's video or you can undo the wheel well and some screws and undo your fog lights and pull all these clips out and undo a couple bolts from underneath um, or some tabs from underneath, sorry. Undo some bolts up here, work the grill out, get it out, but you might scratch some of the paint. You might lose some clips or break some clips. There's a third way to do it and I actually tried this off camera. You can remove this vent here, which is held in by about 10 clips, which I've already had out obviously but you can reach through the grill in the back and you can try and bend the tabs loose. And I was able to get a couple on the G here, so it's a little bit, little bit loose, but honestly, I gave up. I'm probably just gonna break something anyway. So I'm going to go with the path of least resistance, break this inner part out, which is just plastic welds, and then we can use a tool to remove the chrome letters. This new one should plug in. We'll run the wires and then I'll show you the after. So let's get going. Okay, now there's these little tabs. So I'm just gonna use this little tool here. We bend them down and pull on the leather at the same time. And lots of uncomfortable noises later. So you see these little plastic welds. That's it, there's my drill mark where I drilled through.
Okay, we're just about ready to put this in. But before we do that, I just wanna make sure my harness is laid out the right way. So on the back of the illuminated emblem, you can see the spot for the harness here is at the bottom right of the M. So this pin is gonna come out here. And then it's going to fish in behind and there's these little clips that'll clip along one of the ledges. And then we'll tie into the flashlight over there. So we have basically a piggyback that'll allow that to happen. So let's go. Okay, we got our wire routed nice and clean using some of the clips that are provided. Now I just have to tie into the headlight. So I am going to reach down there and unplug the harness, plug the harness into this and then this back into the back of the headlight and then we'll give it a test. Okay, it's all installed. I'm just gonna put everything back together. I really like that this is a factory accessory. That way everything's nice and clean, nothing janky. Um, but I'm gonna wait till it gets a little darker outside before I show you what it looks like. So stay tuned. Just gonna put this back together. It'll be like instantaneous for you. So one second. All right, we're back. You got to see some rolling shots with the illuminated emblem in action. Let's just have a closer look again here. So there it is in all its glory. We got the fog lights on, it's all illuminated. One thing I forgot to mention, and I will leave the link to the kit or the part number in the description below, but this also comes with a set of letters to replace the back with black emblems because I ordered the black kit. So they give you black emblems to match. So if you remember when I did my tailgate, I left them red, but I used hyper dip around the letters to get rid of the chrome. And I might make that white because I kind of liked how the white looked, but I do like the red because the whole ET4 thing and the, you know, the red toe hooks. But anyway, the next time that you see this front emblem, I might have the white vinyl put back in, get my daughter's help. She's really good at it, but she'll put the white vinyl in there. We'll see how it looks. Probably put that on Instagram or something. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.